Hi, I'm Val with Hammer in Hand. We're here at the Pumpkin Ridge Passive House talking about some of its features and details. In a previous video, we mentioned the air barrier and we'll cover that again a little bit uh, from the inside of the house now. Uh, the previous video, we took a, took a good look at this, how the air barrier comes up the exterior of the, of the structural framing and then crosses across the top of our top plates and then it will tie in uh, to the bottom of the trusses all the way up and back to the other side, creating an uninterrupted envelope around and through the house to control air infiltration. Some of the details we, we had to change from standard construction to accommodate this was the transition from our truss uh, slope. This is a, a uh, vaulted ceiling. The transition from flat to sloped had to come out a little bit further to accommodate where this transition happens. And we left this lip out beyond here so that we could get a good seal of uh, air sealing tape to this, to our sheet that we'll put on here next. Um, to accommodate the higher R values of a passive house, we increased the height above plate or the stand of the truss uh, to over 24 inches to accommodate our 24 inches of cellulose, which will give us an R90. Uh, another feature we have here, well, to accommodate that, to, to transfer our shear all the way up to our roof, these bird blocks, which are typically just a two by four, are now um, pretty large, and they're actually you know, an engineered truss themselves, just a little guy there. Another thing uh, that, that we mentioned in a previous video to accommodate our air barrier, but also to maintain the uplift values that we need for our trusses, instead of using the standard H2.5 clip, which would typically is a, is a miniature twist strap that nails here and here, the, the problem with that is that it would, it would uh, interfere with our air barrier and we'd have a lot more air sealing to do. So what we've gone with is a new, newish Simpson product, which is an SDWC screw and that gives us the same uplift values and it just screws up into the bottom of the truss. And this is the, the guide for the Simpson SDWC screw and the screw itself, which is a uh, Torx drive um, screw. And you just, the guide is held like this under the center of the truss and the screw goes in at this angle, you know, and it, it uh, gets the two plates and it goes up into the truss and gives us our uplift value. Uh, another thing we did on this house, and it's not necessarily a passive house thing, is our instead of having a vented soffit, we went with a corrugated vent strip. And you can see that, that in our sheathing above here, this is the underside of our roof deck. It's a inch to an inch and a half wide opening that the roofer will put in a uh, strip that's similar to a ridge vent. We chose this <clears throat> based on the architectural needs of the building and the, the homeowner did not want to have a soffit vent and we think it will perform just as well or better 